Hi, Ben here and we're in the heat treatment side of the workshop today and we thought it would be another nice little intro to work in progress Wednesdays. So we've been working on, the last few days we've been making these new little design called the Thorn. So this is a small little neck carry knife, little utility blade, great for sort of everyday carry, preparing your food when you're out on the trail, uh, field work if you're working with any kind of big animals, deer and things like that. Uh, idea behind it came from the fact that we really like using this RWL34 steel. So RWL34 is a, a powdered steel, it's a stainless steel and it's produced out in Sweden by a company called Dammer Steel. It's really really nice stuff to work but you can only get it in relatively narrow strips so this is a 50 mil wide strip and 3.2 mil uh, thick thickness and you can get it in like meter length so it's it's expensive steel so obviously you want to try and make the most of it. You don't want to waste any of it. So when we clamp on our standard design, so this is one of our four inch woodlanders that we clamp on there and drill all the holes and scribe the pattern, we're left with these little off cuts, which will be perfect for getting our little thorns out. So what we've been doing is we've been laying our little drill pattern that we made onto the steel, clamping it in place, and then using the series of pillar drills that we've got to mark out the hole positions and then using a carbide scribe we can mark around it and we can mark our little thorns onto those little blade blanks. So we've been working on those for the last few weeks. Um, today what we'll be doing is we'll be continuing on these uh, these ones that we've rough drilled and obviously scribed the pattern so we need to actually continue drilling those and what we'll do is we'll make the handle itself with a series of three holes, different sizes, that will reduce weight it will also give options to tie a thong tube or a lanyard onto the end of it or put a bit of string around it. So they're going to be a skeletonized style knife. So these are going to be a really nice lightweight little knife with a little kydex sheath. So this one's already been heat treated. Uh, it's got the rough grinds on it. Uh, we've got to now blast it. We've got to mark our logo on it. We've then got to go through an acid wash process and then stone wash it. And then it will be ready to have its sheath made and things like that. So there's different different stages at the moment. Obviously, we've got some that are still in their raw steel form, so this is still in its annealed stage. And then later on today, when we've got those rough profiled, we'll then get them run them through a, 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 a an annealing process, so a stress relieving cycle in the in the kiln. And then they will get put into stainless steel pouches before being hardened. And then after hardening, they go into an overnight cryo quench. So we've got some from last night. So over in the dewer, these have been sat literally overnight. We've got them in our dewer that we had filled up yesterday. So this is full of liquid nitrogen. So we'll get a couple of these out. Now I suspend these in the cryo on some stainless steel wires. So obviously you want to be able to get them out of the container without losing them in the bottom of it. So the stainless steel wire works really well. So they start steaming now when they're coming back up to room temperature. They'll go all frosty like they've just been in the freezer and look really appetizing. But at the moment you don't want to touch those. That's probably about minus 200 degrees C. Um, depending on the atmospheric pressure that you're at. But yeah, it's, it's cold, real cold. So we use the cryo to get the very best from the RWL34 before we then go on to the next stage which will be the tempering cycles. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of science. I, I kind of enjoy this part of knife making. Um, so once they've gone through the cycles, we'll then make sure that we've got the correct heat treatment. So we use these Rockwell testers to actually test the steel to make sure that we've got absolutely the best out of it. So yeah, we thought it'd be good to show you these little thorns coming to life. So yeah, hopefully you'll see the next few processes in the workshop today.
So we've had a great day in the workshop working on some thorns today. We've still got some in the tempering oven. You can hear it running in the background. So there's still some, some getting heat treated. We've worked on this one all day. So we've got the little blade finished off. So you saw how that we added our little maker's mark on there and how we did our acid stone wash finish on the flats and it's little process in the tumbler. So we've got that ground. It hasn't honed yet. I normally leave that until the very last minute. But you saw how we added our simple little blood knot on the end of it. It's a simple feature, but it really adds to the knife. So it adds length to the handle, so it gives you a really positive grip, even though it's a small knife itself. So effectively only a three finger knife, but adding that blood knot gives you a lot of purchase without actually adding any extra bulk to the knife. We also made a simple little Kydex sheath for it as well. So that a real nice positive little retention sheath that's got a built in little thumb ramp so it's very easy to actually withdraw the knife when you want to use it. And each knife comes with a nice adjustable necktie so you can wear it around your neck so you've got a perfect little everyday lightweight carry knife that you can use for all manner of tasks from sharpening your pencil, cutting your apple for your lunch or even doing a bit of food, uh, food prep out in the field with it as well. And being RWR 34, you've got a fantastic all-weather knife. So if you're going canoeing or out in the uh, terrible British weather, the winter weather, and it gets soaking, ringing wet, you haven't got to worry about any corrosion on there. So yeah, really excited about these little EDC little thorns. So we should have some of these available on our website in the next few weeks. So keep checking out the, the store to see when they come available. If you want any more information about them, please just drop us an email. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed seeing how these little ones are born and uh, following us along on our work in progress Wednesdays. Thanks again for watching.